Hey guys, my name is Bjergsen from Team Solomid, and this is my law class basic guide to Z. These are the runes I ran on Z. I have two different sets for AD and AP matchup, and it also brings a good balance between scaling and flat damage. These are the masters I use on Z. The only things that might be out of the ordinary is I like to go feast for the sustain, and I don't do overlord because it's just generally not a good master and it doesn't scale very well. You're better off going for other points. For summoner spells, I always go Flash Ignite. They're just the best for pretty much any assassin in the game, and you always want to run those on Zed. For the early game skill order level 1, I always go Q. Level 2, I, in 90% of my games, go W. And level 3, I always go E. Again, I, I always max my Q, then E, then W as well. For the starting item, I always like to go Longsword 3 Pots. I think it's just the best starter brings. It gives you flat AD and it gives uh, potions to sustain in lane. For the first buy, I like to go for the Cutlass. A lot of people like Brutalizer, but I still like Cutlass as my first item. After Cutlass, I like to build in the Brutalizer, then into Blade of the Rune King, and Last Whisper Yomus as my main three core items. I think for solo Q, I'll give Zed 10 out of 10. He has a really strong laning phase, which translates into strong split pushing and strong roaming. So you're not as reliant on your team if you go out of the laning phase as a head, because you can simply just go to a side lane and pretty much split push to victory. I like that kind of play style, and you can really carry games on your own on Zed. Some of Zed's weaknesses are that he's pretty ult reliant. He doesn't do as much damage without his ult, and he's kind of reliant on having his ult and uh, active items up. He's also really hard at playing in Zonius and QSS, and that can make his team fighting really hard, as well as the champion not being as strong when behind. For Zed's laning, I'd probably give him a 9 or 10. His laning phase is really, really strong. If you pretty much 90% of matchups, Zed dominates if he's played extremely well, and it's just a matter of how many Qs you can land and how well you can play Zed, and I think his laning phase is just super dominant. For Zed's team fights, I would probably give him a 6. His team fighting is really reliant on what kind of team comp the enemy has. If they have a Zillion and a Lulu, it can be really difficult, but if they have very little CC, he can just roll over the enemy team. So I'm not going to give him too high of a score. It really depends on what kind of items they have, what kind of champions they have. He can be great, but he can also be really weak and have to split push pretty much the entire game. I think pretty much the most important thing to mastering Zed's landing phase is mastering the shadow poke combo where you throw out W and E at the same time. As soon as the shadow lands, your E is going to slow them and then you can easily land the Q afterwards. That's the way you poke people, that's the way you set up all ins, that's the core of playing Zed's landing phase. Following the first tip, Zed is going to be mostly poking people down in lane, so it's important you know exactly how much damage you can do. After poking them down, it's important you know whether you can all in them at 60% health, 40% health. It depends on their summoners, their runes, their build, but really learn how much damage you can do at any point in the game because it's super important. The pretty much basic of playing Zed's laning phase is also not using the shadow when you think the enemy jungler is nearby. There are a lot of times where you, you're just going to have to hold on for your shadow a bit. You can use your Q to last hit. You can also use it to harass, but sometimes you just have to play safe and you can't play super ham and use your shadow all the time. All right, guys, that's it for this law class. I hope you learned something. I hope you have something that you can take away from this. If you have any more questions, you can always tweet at me at Bjergsen, and there's a pretty good chance I'll reply. See you next time.